Hey, it's AP, and today I'm modding my Proton Pack. Check it out. A few weeks back, I was the lucky recipient of a HasLab Proton Pack from Ghostbusters. And if you want to see a 42-year-old man-child geek out, I'll leave a link to that video in the description. While it's a perfectly beautiful piece of ghost-busting collectible, there are some things that just kind of, well, they bug me. Like the fake tape that we have here, or the far too clean wire loom. There's just, there's room for improvement. Do you have one of these beautiful backpacks? Well, let me know if you're going to mod it or if you're going to keep it as is in the comments below. Now, I'm not going to go crazy here and do a full repaint and swap out every electronic piece in here. I'm going to do some very simple mods that anyone can do that won't require any special tools or equipment. Well, kind of. You might need a 3D printer. So you want to know my to-do list? Okay, well, first I'm going to add the Alice frame. No, not that one. This is a military backpack frame, and it's what they used in the OG Ghostbusters. I'll leave a link to it below. This is a super easy and quick upgrade. I'm also going to add a neck pad to the Alice frame because who doesn't want their neck to be comfortable when they're carrying around an unlicensed nuclear accelerator? I'm going to wrap all the pieces of molded electrical tape with real electrical tape. I'm also going to fix the wire loom here and by trimming it down and even putting in some real wires in here to add to that realistic effect. I'm going to cut out the fake wires up here and pop in some real ones, and then I'm going to replace the cable clamps on this wire here with real ones. Oh, and on the Neutrona wand, I'm going to paint the tip gray, and then I'm going to replace the handle grip here. You will need a 3D printer for that, or you can just purchase one ready printed off of Etsy. So, pretty straightforward. Let's get to it. Oh, and before we start the elective surgery on this beautiful backpack, make sure you hit those like and subscribe buttons so you don't miss out on future episodes. All right, done? Perfect. Let's add the Alice frame. So for this, you only need a couple of tools. You need a screwdriver. You need the gear that actually came with your proton pack. And then of course you need the Alice frame. Uh, this, as you can already see, is way more beefy and beautiful than what came on the actual HasLab pack. The HasLab pack straps are perfectly fine, but if you want to, uh, like I said, up your game, your ghost busting game, then you want to add the Alice frame. Okay, so let's first, oops, let's first remove the original straps. And this is relatively easy. Ooh, that's heavy. We'll just put those in the old reuse pile. So Hasbro was kind enough to give us all the hardware and screws that you're going to need to attach your own Alice frame. I guess they knew what they were getting themselves into when producing something like this. So you get uh, two spacers and those go here at the very bottom and there are indentations here that these spacers just kind of pop into. Then you have uh, three different sized pieces here, brackets here, and it goes tall, medium, small. And again, you just line them up with the pre, uh, pre, uh, hold holes, <laughs> you know, the pre hold holes. So that's, these are the locations and all you do is you lay the Alice frame on top. Uh, so I'm just going to gently do that. There are holes on the bottom of the Alice frame. So as you can see, these slots here, they're just going to go over those spacers that Hasbro kindly gave us. You're going to have two long screws and 10 short screws. The long screws are for the section with the spacers, and the short ones are for, well, everything else. It really doesn't matter what order you put these down on, just make sure you don't tighten them until you have everything screwed in. You'll need the wiggle room to make adjustments. Okay, so now we have our Alice frame on, and that literally took five minutes. Quick, easy upgrade, and it already adds to the, the uh, the the kind of utility of this and wow it just it makes it look so much better this is awesome 
And uh, yeah. All right. So now let's move on to adding the neck pad to this, which now that I'm looking at this, I think I'm going to have to remove the, <laughs> I'm going to have to remove the frame. Okay. Sorry, it's been a couple days. I had to make a quick trip down to historic Pensacola, Florida. And, uh, but now I'm back and I'm ready to continue working on this beautiful backpack. I have since removed the Alice frame. So let's just get that out of the way because we are going to be putting on the neck padding. The neck padding is to keep your neck protected, right? And all it really is, is one of those pipe noodles that you get at the hardware store uh, that you wrap around to keep your pipes from freezing. And all you do is you pop it on here and strap it down with some, uh, what are those called? The black plastic things, plastic things. You'll know when I show them to you. Probably should go grab them. Cable ties, they're called cable ties. And uh, so another cool thing is, I don't know if it's cool, but uh, on the original, I think, I, I definitely know people are doing this. Uh, there's a neoprene version of this or they wrap it in neoprene. I don't have neoprene, but I do have gaffer's tape. And uh, if you have gaffer's tape around, you could probably do this as well. I'm just gonna wrap this in gaffer's tape and that'll give me kind of like a smoother looking uh, surface. But first things first, we need to cut this. And I'm just going to do this so it's, you know, I'm making this my own, okay? I don't care what you people say. I'm gonna make this my own. Damn screen accuracy. Where's the scissors? I'm sitting on the scissors. Ow, okay. So I'm going to cut this so it has a little bit of a wrap around so about right here and these cut because it's just foam with scissors look at that whoa that's probably the most perfect cut i've ever made this really didn't give me the effect i was hoping for but i'm going to keep it that way anyway the pad just slips onto the top of the frame and is attached with cable ties to keep things tidy, I turn the buckles to face the back after I trim the excess tie. We now have a neck pad. Okay, so now I can put this back on. The pack, jeez. All right, so this is on, but uh, word to those willing to listen. Uh, this does add some extra space to the pack. Now what's great about the Alice frame though is that it's very flexible. So you just have to kind of push it down a little bit to screw it in. I hope that doesn't add any um, tension issues to the screws or anything like that. I feel confident that this is gonna hang on quite nicely, but we have our neck pad on. So we have our Alice frame, our neck pad. Now we're moving on to some cosmetic things, some more cosmetic things. So I think what I'm going to do next is, what do you think we should do? Electrical tape or fixing the wire loom? Let's do the wire loom. So first we're gonna remove the, uh, this braided cable here. It just, it, it's an interesting design choice that they made here because everything else looks so worn and dirty and used. And then you have this pristine <laughs> cable sleeve. Uh, yeah, it's frayed, but it was like, yeah, just fray it. It'll look dirty. It doesn't, doesn't solve that. No, it doesn't look like that at all. So uh, I'm gonna make this dirty somehow. Um, I'd probably just use some like a, like a black washer or something. Uh, but to remove this, I need to actually take off this, this cable clamp here. And I'm going to replace it with a real cable clamp. Uh, this is a uh, 28 millimeter. I think that's one in, I think it's one in an eighth. 
Yeah, one and a quarter. It's whatever the forum said I should use to be screen accurate to Ghostbusters 1. Not that this is going to be screen accurate to Ghostbusters 1, but if I was going to make the upgrade for this little thing, I was going to try to do it at least relatively close to accurate. And again, this is another simple, easy upgrade if you decide to do this. It's just one screw, one screw, and then it pops off. And then this little piece of plastic can go into your save for later pile. <laughs> my, my wife hates my save for later pile. And then this just kind of pulls out and you can, uh, does it just snake off? It's like when you lose your string in your, in your sweatpants. You have to kind of do that weird pinch and pull. There we go, okay. I just cut this down so that the wiring will be exposed. To prevent future fraying, I used a match to melt the ends. Just wear a mask or something while doing this. Those fumes are nasty. To make the pristine wrap dirty, I used a black wash. Some Vallejo black and water will do the trick. Use Vallejo Black on everything. Too much. Vallejo, if you'd like to sponsor a video, please let me know. Because this is a fabric material, it'll absorb the paint very easily, so I just dabbed the wash on with a paper towel. There you go. That's nice and dirty. While that's drying, I rewrapped all the molded electrical tape components with real electrical tape and then gave them a nice wash to dirty them up. I'm going to now add the actual cable clamps to this. These were the smallest cable clamps I could find. I think they are, what size are they? They're like a quarter of an inch or an eighth of an inch. I'm trying to keep this over the plastic one to get as much torque on it as possible. And actually it came out awesome, okay. Oh, that's great. There we go. So I'm gonna put the cable sleeve back on uh, and I am replacing the cable clamp on from the, uh, the plastic one that came with this. I can reuse the screw, but the hole is too big, so I had to get a washer to hold this down. Uh, fortunately, I had one in the shop. I don't know what size it is, but it's looks like it's a quarter of an inch wide. I'll find out specifically and let you know. But this, this really just kind of goes back in place where you took the old one off. So let's slide this on first. Ooh, but that looks really good. Ooh, nice. Look at all these upgrades. Okay, then I'm going to put some uh, real wires on here. Uh, as you can see, probably, it looks like a uh, cable wrap around some cables. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going, I have tons of wires, so I'm just gonna, randomly grab some and make a little, I'm just gonna like tape them around here. Here. 
And so I'm going Since to I'm in cut a this mood, out. I'm going to remove the fake wires here and replace them with real ones. The plastic cuts really easily with the utility knife. Now I know that some people have removed the hard plastic piece here. I'm gonna keep it in. The wires can simply pressure fit between that piece and the soft fake wire loom. Then some electrical tape to hold everything in place. So on my to-do list, I was going to add some more rub and buff to certain areas, but I've decided to not do that because I actually do think that this paint job looks fine as is. But I am very happy with how this turned out. I may come back and revisit these wires here. I'm just not a huge fan of how plastic they do look. I know some people have actually removed them and then patched the holes and painted them. I don't want to do that because I don't want to do a full repaint. It's just a lot of work, but uh, I might paint the wires. I might, I don't know. We'll, we'll revisit that in a future episode. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on that update. So the last thing I'm going to do is a minor upgrade to, actually two minor upgrades to the Neutrona wand. I'm going to add a grip. The grip is pretty cool. I found this on Thingiverse, I think, and I will leave a link to it in the description. Uh, uh, you can also purchase this pre-printed off of Etsy, but it really, it just snaps right on to your, your grip. And, uh, and it looks now like the original Ghostbusters or the Ghostbusters 2 uh, grip, which is nice. But I need to paint the black parts of the, or I need to paint the wood part that is exposed so it looks right. I printed this in resin. You can print it in whatever you have if you are printing it. I wanted to print it in resin just to kind of reduce the amount of finishing I have to do to it. And I'm not even gonna sand this. I'm just going to, I don't, I'm not even gonna paint it. I just printed it in black and uh, we'll snap it on. Maybe I'll give it a light sanding, I don't know. No, I'm not even gonna do that. I'm just gonna be satisfied with the fact that I printed it in black. So uh, let's paint up the ends here to cover up the wood. It's hard to see, but all I'm doing is painting the ends of the faux wood grip black so that it matches the 3D printed grip. And guess what kind of black I'm using, folks? That's right, Vallejo. For one reason or another, the universe conspired against me and I lost all this great footage of painting the tip and swapping out the grip. So I'll just show you what I did. I painted the tip. It is now gray instead of orange. For display purposes, it's gonna just look so much better. And if I take this to a con, this actually came with, or the Proton Pack came with, a clip-on orange cap. So I can put it on here, walk around at a con, and no one will believe that I'm really carrying a Proton Pack that will cause harm and injury. We take ourselves way too seriously sometimes. The grip is complete. It just snaps on. If I wanted to go back to the wood grip, I can snap it off. It's very easy. You might have to repaint your wooden grip if you did follow my advice and paint the black here. But uh, this is not coming off. I like the way it looks and uh, it's just a much better grip. I love these upgrades and I'm very happy with how they all came out. Uh, what do you think? Do you like them? Have you made any upgrades to your Proton Pack? If you haven't, did this inspire you to do so? Well, let me know in the comments. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit those like and subscribe buttons and that little bell. It doesn't cost you a thing and it does help the channel grow, so I do appreciate that. And make sure you check out some of my other videos. I have all kinds of stuff. I have things from cosplay to home improvement, so there's something for everyone. Thanks so much for watching until the end, and I'll see you next time.